Got to do something real quick. What's up, everybody? Cole. What's up, man? You doing all right? Hey, Leona. That's awesome. Hey, Jesse. What's up? Thank you, man. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying my morning coffee too. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. I'm just adding some tags to the video real quick and we can go ahead and get started. How are y'all doing? Yeah, that should be enough. Cheers, for sure. Ooh. I'm so stiff today, I don't know why. It's just like, ah. Okay, there we go. But thank you, Jesse. You're awesome, man. I appreciate that. He says, cool t-shirt. <laughs> uh, let me know if y'all can hear the guitar well enough. Because I'm just recording on my phone. Alright, so let me pull up the chair for just a sec. I can explain to you guys what's been going on. So guess what? I just finished closing on purchasing a home and I will be moving into said new home this Friday. And I could not be more excited, honestly, for the future. This home I've been renting for the last year and uh, it's, it's been a great stepping stone, but it is now time to move on to bigger and better things. I'll have a bona fide studio that I'm building you guys can't really see it, but I got my whole drum set and everything broken down behind me, ready to move. Um, I'm going to be building an entire like soundproof studio. Um, that way I can play drums, guitar, piano, whatever I want, whenever I want. I ran into some complications here with a neighbor who threatened me and said, if you don't stop playing drums, I will make you stop playing drums. And I said, well, honestly, sir... I warned you a year ago when I moved in here what I do and that's how I make money and uh, it's a job and I warned you several several times and the words that came out of his mouth were oh I love the drums don't worry about it my favorite band's Iron Maiden and he's 81 and it's just like all right all right we'll see about that and it, it just got a little crazy and I knew it was time to go. So I haven't played drums in a month getting, yeah, getting ready for this move. And like I said, I could not be more excited because I'll have my own mortgage. I'll be able to actually like build 
The reason I didn't build an actual soundproof place here was because I was renting this place and didn't know if this is something that I would be able to buy. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad I'm not because there will be a lot more freedom. Like this house has like 0 0.20 acres of land and the house that I'm moving to has a little over a half an acre. So it's a lot more land. It's a smaller house, but that's... There it goes. Very strange. So we are live. So Leona, one cool thing is, the tone that I'm using is actually Devin Townsend's tone. Yeah, that's awesome. That really is awesome. I'm so glad you got to go to that. God, yeah, that's a once in a lifetime event.
Hey, Lou, how's it going, man? It's great to see y'all. Thank you so much for joining. sitting here playing some guitar and drinking some coffee. No, that's awesome, man. That's awesome, man. Darkness. Oh, that's awesome, man. Who are they? I've never heard of the darkness. Thank you. 
I've just been really trying to do a lot of practice lately. I'm gonna go get my other guitar. What song can I... Hold on one second. <sighs> Breakout old reliable. And coincidentally, I have been learning some tunes. Ah, hold on. Ah. Coincidentally, I have been learning some tunes. And one of the streams that I'm going to start doing again is me playing Rocksmith. So I can keep learning. Mostly, I've been focusing on uh, scale work. Still doing the basics. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's kind of like my ADHD inspiration music.
It's funny though because because that guitar is way heavier than this guitar and this kind of feels like a baby guitar now, but I do love my Ibanez. Michael Dogson. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nick, have I seen the new Mortal Kombat? Holy shit, it looks awesome. No, I have not. That's awesome, though. I haven't seen it. Hey, Charlie. How's it going? Okay, so I actually need to go make another cup of coffee, so I will be right back in like two seconds. seconds.
Sometimes I do love playing the six string versus more than playing the seven string. I gotta admit. I gotta admit. But Lou, you've been asking if what I've been playing lately. Lou, you've been asking what I've been playing lately. Mainly it's been scales. And I'll show you what I've learned. So, of course, everybody knows the pentatonic. Then you have the G minor scale, all right? That's the G minor pentatonic scale. Then there's the G major. I'm sorry, not G minor pentatonic. I don't know why I said that. G minor scale. Then there's the uh, G major scale, which is a little more difficult because it's spaced out. So that one's a little more difficult. I really, really like that scale, actually. I really like the G major. I really like the G major scale. Can I do shreds yet, or is that bit, a bit hard to get hang of? Well, if you consider shreds like... If you consider that shredding, then yes, I can I can shred quite a bit because you shred on your scales. So so say your G minor for instance. Yes, I can shred a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, man. So it's getting there for sure. It is definitely getting there. 
So I don't know. I, I, I think I suck and I'm just learning to write. Uh, I have no like ambitions to be a live guitarist per se. But you know, having written an album, that does make a huge difference. So I'm, I'm really trying, man. I, I really am. I've only been playing two years, and I know that I suck, and it's okay. It's okay, because you have to suck for a while, and then you actually get kind of good at it. But I'm writing music, and I'm happy, and I, I would not trade this for anything in the world, honestly. That's right, Leona. She said you got to start somewhere. That's so true. That is so true. Adelaide, you are so silly. Hmm. Thank you. Lou, you're awesome, man. I swear. Thank you. I really would love to take actual guitar lessons from somebody way more knowledgeable than me because I really am trying to become a great guitarist. Like, music is in my head and in my blood, and you guys can still see I've got the piano over here next to me, you know. What do I look for for inspiration, if I don't mind you asking, or am I doing it for my own type of guitar playing? Well... That's a good question. I get a lot of inspiration from, honestly, like Devin Townsend is probably, in my opinion, the most palatable, the most digestible, amazing guitarist I've ever seen. And I love Dream Theater, obviously. Uh, I love what they've been able to do. And I really appreciate like uh, Tosin Abasi. Yeah, Debbie, he's life, man. Like, I really appreciate Tosin Abasi from Animals as Leaders. He's an innovator. And a lot of my motivation comes from people like that. Uh, and it also comes from a lot from necessity. Like, you know, you guys know I was in a band for 15 years. And then the band, they all decided to have kids all at the same time, which is fine. I, you know, I have no resentment or um, negative feelings towards any of that uh but only ever having played drums like that really puts a lot of damper on it but there's a benefit to having only played drums there's a lot of like i'm i i figured out that i'm actually a pretty decent rhythm guitarist like i feel i figured out because of drums like i'm actually a pretty decent rhythm guitarist um where is it So, so 
So, because I played drums for so many years, you know, there is a certain percussive aspect that goes into me being able to play. Like what I was just doing there is a tap followed by two da 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 you know, and that is a certain percussive element that goes into it. Sorry, hold on one second. You know, and that's two taps. So, yeah, there's, like I said, there is a certain percussive aspect that goes into this, and I absolutely love it. I have truly fallen in love with playing guitar, more so than I ever thought possible, just because, you know, playing drums for 30 years, I really tried not to just base my identity on the one thing, honestly, and I've had this music in my head all my life and never really knew how to get it out. You know, me playing drums, it's so funny. Somebody put it to me uh, the, uh, this way the other day. They said, okay, for the first like 10 to 12 years, uh, it was actually one of my guitarist friends. He said, I'm good enough now on guitar that I need to start learning how to play music, like other people's tunes. And I was like, why? He goes, well, put it this way. When, when you spend 10, 15 years when you first start, because he was like, how did you learn how to play drums? And I was, he's like, what's the first song you ever learned how to play? I was like, well, Tom Sawyer's Rush. And he said, okay. He said, think about this. You learn Tom Sawyer's Rush and you learn Rush, a great band to start with. And that taught you Neil Peart's techniques. And it taught you things that you didn't know before. It taught you how to expand your mind and it taught you not to limit yourself and your music ability because you know you can play stuff that's really cool but until you start to expand your mind you really won't know the limitations of every, of what's out there which it's unlimited you know look at like i said tosin abasi he's doing stuff that even john petrucci doesn't know how to do so and he said with guitar you're doing it exactly the opposite you're teaching yourself how to play first which is great, learning theory, learning scales, learning uh, how to tremolo pick. Cause you know, one of my exercises, I'll do note division. It's like, I'll start with one note. So he said, that's great. He said, that's really great. And any note that anyone could ever play falls into those categories. And another exercise that I've started doing is like one note per string. I'll do pretty much like the Steve Morris exercises where it's like one note per string. So it's like, it's like. So it's really hard to do. It's really hard to do. Yes, practice makes perfect. And the more practice, the better the technique will progress. That is absolutely correct. I can't tell you. I spent, I spent at least two months doing that one exercise. I spent at least two months doing just that. And then I spent another two months like working on synchronizing my hands.
like doing doing this kind of stuff. I mean, I, I have spent so much time. Honestly, that was the first, like, year of me playing was just spent. And then another, like, two months of pen and tonics, okay? Pen and tonics. Of literally just doing that. And then... <laughs> Oh God. And then I spent, holy shit, uh, tr working on tremolo picking. I, I would just sit back. I would just sit back and I'd have my guitar off and I would just switch from string to string just. I know you can't really hear that. It sounds something like this and it's probably still very sloppy. Just gaining a feel for how the picking feeling is, okay? And you really have to strengthen. This, your right hand apparently in guitar is the hardest to teach because it's it's the percussion. This is the this is like your your rhythm and harmony and melody and dynamics. But this right here is your percussion. You have to figure out how to get the pick to do the work. And that's been the hardest for me. And then I went from learning that stuff to learning like hammer-ons and pull-offs. and you just have to take it step by step. And another thing that I learned in the midst of doing hammer-ons and pull-offs was tapping, okay? And tapping is like my favorite thing. I think it's like all guitarists' favorite thing to do. So you have to really, yeah, I'm right-handed. 
Yeah, I'm right-handed. And like I said, this this right hand being all right. So on drums, it really messed me up that this hand was like ten years ahead of this hand because I would only blast beat with my right hand. Like this hand was like da 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 da, but this hand was like you know doing all kinds of crazy shit. And it really fucked me up having one hand ten years ahead of the other hand. Try being. Why? Do, are you seeing something that I don't see? Try being left-handed and picking. Oh, I bet that that really messes you up, doesn't it? Because I have noticed when I'm playing guitar, my left hand is a lot stronger than my right hand. And my right hand is my dominant hand. So being able to do all my major fret stuff Maybe, maybe I'm playing guitar backwards because I am ambidextrous. Like I, I do everything with both. I can eat with my left hand. I can drink with my left hand. I shoot with my left hand. Uh, I'm very ambidextrous when it comes to, I tighten a wrench with my left hand. Maybe I'm backwards. Maybe I'm learning, learning this all wrong and I should be left-handed on guitar. <laughs> Robert, are you a guitar teacher? I need lessons bad. God, I would I would give anything to start taking bona, fi bona fide guitar lessons from a real virtuoso. I guess if I did that, it would be kind of like, this is a right-handed guitar, obviously. But, like, I don't know if I could actually try it. It's gonna be a little difficult. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, you're learning from me? <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. So you're left-handed. So you're left-handed. I gotcha. Okay, so that's another thing that I've... That's actually something I've been working on lately is my... My... Not gallops. What the hell would they be called? I forget what those are called. Chug, chugs, I guess. I don't fucking know.
You get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea, though. Thank you for joining, though, Robert Frenette. You're awesome, man. You're awesome. This Sunday, and I'm drinking coffee. I'm on my third cup of coffee. I'm feeling really good. Oh, wow. I can't believe we've been going for an hour already. That's awesome. <laughs> I really appreciate everybody who comes and joins. I know that I suck, and I'm not, like, the greatest to listen to, but I cannot tell you how more grateful I am to have people to talk to and I wish my girlfriend was here, but she's not feeling too good at the moment. I'm... That was weird. Sounded like something fell off. Anyways, going ahead. But I just, I love to play. And I wrote the album. And I'm happy that it's produced. Me too. She got bit by a spider, and she's definitely getting over it. And I, and I can't just, like, go and see her, unfortunately, which really fucking sucks. But I could definitely play you guys some stuff that's off the album. Uh, like, uh, the one song, Calamity.
Anyways, that's that one. Yeah. 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 So another song, another song I've been writing called The Redeemed, it's um uh, it's kind of the same. Well, I say kind of the same. It's um it's in a different part. So it's like um So that's one that I've been working on. I don't really have much else for it than that at the moment. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I practice every day. I really do. I really do. Thank you so much. I really am trying. I, I I miss being able to do the live drums, though. I'm not even going to lie. And you said, forget vaping. You got a cigar. I have King Edwards in my safe. And um, I only vape because it's cheaper and it's easier. And I wish I didn't, honestly. I smoked for like 12 years being in a touring band and regret it. Honestly, I regret it. But that's okay. <laughs> But I just really want to appreciate the, like, seven people who've been watching me fuck around on guitar. Y'all are awesome. But, yeah, I'm closing the deal on my first home on Friday, and I'll be moving in. And I really don't think it'll take two or three days for me to get acclimated and completely moved over. I've got two people lined up that have trucks and trailers. You know, it's a, all right, so let's do a bit of motivation time. How's that? All right, so I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys a little bit, person, mano y mano, all right? You never know just how much good karma you rack up until you are in a moment of need. A cigar is way healthier in the sense that it has far less artificial ingredients in it, yes. 
cigarettes have cyanide and urine in it and all kinds of crazy stuff that they make to make it and gunpowder and it makes the cigarette burn longer and better blah 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 C cigar is just straight carved tobacco leaf so in, in essence it is a lot healthier for you um i mean tobacco in all of its forms is bad for you but shit we're all gonna die from poison somehow look at coffee we put sugar and creamer in it and what are you gonna do so i wanted to talk to y'all at the end of this about just being a good person i said stay <laughs> about you know just being a good person because you never know like what kind of positive karma that you'll rack up because you know i was fully prepared to move by myself and like just move everything that i could in my little car i have a mazda 3 and just move everything that I could in that little car. And then at the end of it, when I'm starting to move furniture, go into like Home Depot or Lowe's and just rent in one of their trucks. And then all of a sudden, you know, a lot of, um, let's see, one, two, three people have trucks and trailers that they want to help me move with. And it's like, holy cow, where were all you people? Like, what is making y'all decide to come out of the woodworks and to help me like that? Because that is, to me, that's a huge deal. And I fully plan on like, I got two racks of ribs that I'm gonna smoke and cook while they're, while we're doing our thing and going back and forth. Um, and I'm fully prepared to repay them for their efforts because I understand that moving is not an easy thing. It really isn't. And just to show you guys, you know, just a little bit, this is the studio room, and you can see I've got my drums already broken down. Uh, got some stuff, my beautiful guitar. I love my Schecter. Uh, you know, I got some stuff that I'm gonna be moving, and it's gonna be a bitch and a half to move everything. But I'm really excited, and I'm really, like, like I don't mind spending the money. Like, renting this place has been a good stepping stone to get me to the next part of my life. And now that I have gotten approved for a mortgage, I'll be able to create a full soundproof studio. Uh, I've already priced all of the soundproofing materials that I'm gonna need, carpet padding, etc. cetera. Um, I have a good plan. I have a good plan. And nothing feels better than a good plan coming to fruition, for real. So I apologize for neglecting the things that matter most to me, such as posting videos to YouTube, doing reacts and all that kind of stuff. But I hope you all understand that over this last year, I have just been battling, battling with renting this place and the roof falling in on this place. I inherited a major problem, but I don't regret it because it taught me a lot of stuff. It taught me how to be strong. It taught me how to be confident in my own abilities to figure out problems. Uh, it's led me to drive a 10 ton bucket truck for the company that I work for. I work in power and I love my job and I make decent money, but honestly, my heart is in music and I'm doing everything I can to be able to write and produce music that speaks to me. And I just really want people to listen to it. And um, it might not make sense at first, the music, but it's what I hear in my head and I'm, f I'm, I'm able to finally translate it into a medium that other people can hear it. And my dad's doing okay, he's doing okay. He's still taking care of his mom and his brother, uh, but you know, every that's his life and he's got to live his life. He's got to progress in his own way, just like I have to progress in my own way and it's up to the individual to take control of their own life and to not let life happen to you, but to let life unfold for you. And uh, I'm very lucky, okay, to have studied the stuff that I have for the last like 20 years, to have the books that I've had, to be able to talk about these life lessons with you guys. I'm, I'm actually in the process of writing a book called The RPG Life Coach. And I've got a second book that I've been writing. It's got about 68 pages in it so far called Experience Truths, The Things I've Learned. And 
I hope to be able to publish those within the next like three years, two years. But honestly, honestly, it could be sooner because of the, the fact that I'm going from all of this to my own space that all I've got to worry about is my relationship with my girlfriend and taking care of myself, paying my mortgage on time and practicing and practicing, 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 practicing. And I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. But I'm also, I worked my ass off to get to this point. You know, I'm not trying to downplay it at all because I worked my butt off to get here. Like, it has been insane. I think since April, I've pulled over 800 hours uh, at my job in my new maintenance position. And uh, that's like 250 hours a month. That's 120 every two weeks. That is 40 hours of overtime every two weeks for the past four months. You know, I've been working, 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 just pushing and pushing. And uh, my girlfriend knows she's such a sweet angel. I love her to death. Uh, I'm going to marry that girl one day. I promise you that. And and she has agreed that she wants to start doing videos with me. She is so inquisitive and asks perfect questions. And I cannot wait for you all to meet her. She is a big part of my journey. Uh, I tell her all the time. It's like, it's like through the communication that she and I have that's so grounded in peace that she has helped me like piece my soul together. You know, because a lot of you don't even know that 2018, my mom passed away. 2019, my fiance at the time left me on the day that my mom passed away. And it was just like, holy shit. And then, you know, December, that was November 28th. And then December 5th is when I started making videos of 2019, okay? And I've been doing it for four years now. I've been doing YouTube as a full-time job along with another full-time job for the last four years. So this isn't something that I just started like two weeks ago. This is something that I started four years ago. I created my YouTube in 2008 and I love to do this. I'm very lucky to have stumbled upon the reactions, having you all ask me to do those. Um, I'm very lucky that you all asked me to do the reacts because that really helped launch the channel. I've also periodistically been trying to launch my own content because those reacts get copyrights so i don't earn any money from those so i've probably earned maybe a grand a year from youtube which is amazing to me that's amazing to me i never got into this trying to make money i just wanted to be able to do what i feel in my heart that i want to do teach music talk about music analyze it and stuff the really great artists out there uh practice my own music produce that uh, you know, I was in a touring band for 12 to 15 years, and we pro we produced one song. One song. Um, but I am, Lou, I am getting back to the reacts, man. I am. And if you don't, if you guys don't know, I'm doing the positive uh, affirmations videos. I love those. Those have truly helped me, and I felt compelled to start putting those out as well. That's actually me reading, and I'll sit down and I'll read an hour at a time, and I do eight hours worth of positive affirmations that I read. So, like, I make those from love, you know? And I'm, I'm definitely, once I get this move out of the way, I've got, all right, so on Friday, I've got 10 days of, vac of vacation that I've taken. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that whole next week, and then that following Saturday and Sunday, I've got 10 days off work and I'm going to use that to move and to rest and catch up on my sleep debt to start feeling normal again. Um, because I've been going through a bit of like disconnect lately. Uh, and I think that that's like being on call is kind of rough because you could work 18 hours in a row and you ain't even got time to make something to eat. You just got to, it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Uh, so the next time you see your cable guy, the maintenance guy in the bucket truck, tell them thank you because they work their asses off. But it's worth it. I love my job. And I love this. I love this a lot more than I love my job. And I wish, I wish, okay, that I could do YouTube full time. I miss it so much. And I miss being able to sit here and talk to y'all about the life lessons and the doing the musical reacts and all that kind of stuff. And I have I have so many bustling ideas that I cannot wait until this move is over with and I'm settled in my new house and I have my soundproof studio because it is gonna be like an explosion of, of content. And 
I, you know, Leona, she has been supporting me for the past, what, two years now, I think. You've been a member and you got the highest tiered membership. I cannot believe you have done that. And I'm gonna do something special for her. And Lou, you've supported me too as well. You've bought me games and you've bought me, uh, you've donated to the stream. And I just cannot thank you guys enough because I know, I know you guys remember who have been with me a long time where I was before in that old house with the ceilings that was missing and the fucking floor that had big holes in it. You know, y'all are my number one supporters. And like I said, I never got into this to make money. I got into this because I love doing what I do. I do. And for those of you who have been here for a long time, y'all can vouch for this. I've never asked for money. That That's not in my thing. I'd say if you want to support what I do, then there's something for everybody on the channel, whether it's merchandise. As a matter of fact, we sold a coffee mug back in April, and I forgot to say thank you to whoever has a coffee mug with me on it. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. And that's another thing I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna get commissioned some professional artwork to be able to start putting on the merchandise, okay? Uh, there's a lot of, like I said, it's gonna be like an explosion of new content, new artwork, new merchandise, new music, new streams, everything. And I just thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me because I do all this out of pure love and it's free and you guys are amazing. And I really cannot thank you enough. I really cannot thank you enough. I wish there was a way that I could like give you all a hug. <laughs> uh, you guys are a blessing, truly. But I think it is time for me to go for the day. I have gotten, what, two hours, an hour, 76 minutes, so that's an hour and 20 minutes of practice. That's awesome. I feel good. I feel good about this. I feel good about the future for the first time ever. I'm healthy. I'm like, for those of you who remember me before with the dark circles under my eyes and my cheeks all sunken in, you know, I used to be 125 pounds. I'm up to 165 pounds Arr! of twisted steel and sex appeal. <laughs> Oh, man. But I, I am so grateful to have friends like y'all, for real. I really am. And if there's ever anything that I could do, if there's ever anything that I could do, okay, my, my DM, my direct messages are always open. Go join the Twitter, join the Instagram, join the TikTok, su subscribe to the YouTube. Um, I just wish that I could do something more. Oh yeah, Twisted Metal. I want to start watching that. Samoa Joe did a really good job. I've seen some clips from TikTok about it. Yeah, Samoa Joe did a really good job on that. He was a great uh, uh, sweet tooth. <laughs> but I love you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and go. And I'm going to get some um, some food and, you know, leave me a comment down below. Uh, some music that I need to learn because actually maybe that could be a future stream is me learning songs and practicing some songs. I'm really interested in learning some Floyd, Pink Floyd. I'm really interested in learning some Rush, obviously. I would love to learn some Metallica. Uh, you know, just foundational knowledge that the skills that I learn playing those musics will help me progress to other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I would love to do that. And if you guys think that that's a great idea, leave me a comment below. Say, learn this song, learn that song, okay? I, I need it. I love the comments and I respond to every single one of them. And if there's everything, anything that I could do, leave me a message and I will directly message you and we will have a conversation. And, and I'm a cognitive behavioral therapist. So if you have anything, I would love Stevie Wonder Superstitious. I could do that. Leave me a comment down below, Lou. Remind me, cause I don't want to forget. That's a good one. That's a good one. But I'm gonna go for now, and I love you all, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Adley, you wanna come say bye? Okay, she's, she's probably in there laying down. Y'all have a good Sunday. I love you.